I get a feeling it's going to be a riot. I don't read the newspapers because they all have ugly prints. From the fourth round between Indigo and Sasby. Sasby, I just went ahead and called him Sasby because I can't pronounce that and I'm not even going to try. But um, it looks like these two players have switched sides now and uh, it does look like Indigo is going to take the advantage straight away and go up to the left up on the hill and I quickly run through um, CA's army CA, I called him Sass because I called the last guy um, CA and it'll just get confusing so I quickly run through his army as it's out in the open cavalry wise um, they have three units of Yari cavalry and one unit of bow samurai on that flank yeah and then uh, Matsuka Shigari one two Yari Three Yari Shigari, uh, one, two, three, four Naganata, no, three Naganata Warrior Monk, no, three Naganatas Samurai, and one Naganata Warrior Monk, and um, another unit, a Yari Shigari, and then two more bows. <coughs> but it does look like Indigo is going to take this hill, but if uh, Sass doesn't move, he can just go ahead and stay in these woods and be protected from arrow fire. But Indigo's army do, is, does consist of one, two, two, three, three bow warrior monks. So then they do have the added range. So Indigo has changed up a little bit um, from the last game where they lo where that person lost. Indigo did lose the last game. If you want to go check that out, I'll leave a link somewhere on the screen. Um, yeah, it was a really good battle. Uh, Sass did manage to ambush uh well not so much ambush but bring out some troops at vital moments and take the victory but please do go ahead and check that out um infantry wise uh indigo has uh one two three naganata warrior monks a yara shigari and naganata warrior monk uh another naganata warrior monk and then some hidden cavalry which has just been shown and that is Yari Cavalry, so both pretty much similar armies to last time, maybe a bit of change due to the extra missiles and um, uh, the matchlock warrior monks now instead, so um, Indigo has gone for a heavily based monk army instead of what they went for last time, the archers were Ashigari and Bow Samurai I believe, so it has changed up a little bit. But you don't want to get, because Sass did this last time, uh, went around the side with these units which were hidden. But you don't want to get away too far, because these two units can be completely, if Indigo engaged now, uh, with Cavalry and the uh, Yara yeah, Shigari would take a while just to get here. So I think, um, I think seeing this Indigo is just going to advance, because it is still going to take a while. And you can slow it down maybe with a Snaganata Warrior Monk, which I'm not sure what it's doing here, if it's been forgotten, it's moving up now, but maybe it was forgotten, but you have to be careful with cavalry, but I doubt this Yara Shigari is going to get there in time, by the time they are they'll be exhausted, and I doubt they will play a part, so maybe that's a bit of a poor mistake, because the army is all the way over here, but they might not need it, Sass still might, um, obviously I'm not saying that means that Sass is going to lose, because it's only two units of Yara Shigari, and that costs about 600, whatever the Japanese money is. That costs about 600 money, I'm going to say. GP, gold pieces, let's go back to RuneScape. Um, yeah, so it does look like Indigo is going to advance the by warrior monks and try and use that added range. But um, it does look like Sass is just going to pull off again, retreat a little bit more and maybe reform the lines. But I'm just going to keep on doing this. And it does look like a unit of light cavalry was in the woods, maybe trying to get... Um, hit these archers but it was shot by matchlocks and worn off by the Yari cavalry so maybe that was a fat that was a bit of a failed ambush but no need it was only a unit of light cavalry which was lost and it is going to get chased back to the lines and the cavalry is coming over here so maybe I was wrong maybe this Yari um, uh, Ashigari will play a part in this battle but um, again we'll just see the re lines reforming and I'll triple speed it and it looks like Go ahead and pause it, and it does look like the like uh, Yari Cavalry did manage to get in between these lines and make go for the general, but the general did get out of there behind the lines. But that was good move by um, by Sass. He did get round the sides and in, which was clever by him. And the Yari Shigari is coming, but 
you don't want to attack solely with these Yarashigari, you want to have the entire army and attack at the same time, so maybe Sass will slow these down and just halt them here and then um, wait till the rest of the army gets close and then attack all at once, so you're attacking from two directions and you'll have more of an impact and just has to make sure that the Yari Cavalry is being used well, I'd like to see what he does with this, so we'll go ahead and click play again and we'll go ahead and we're just going to go out and try and get out of there and maybe soak in some more units but it's going to get caught it looks like but he's just going to carry on running and try and get out of there dodging everything even the cavalry and the spears and it's going to take a match lock volley and it's going to take these, take five men out of them but at this point maybe um, you can if you do get caught by the cavalry then you can just bring up spears and finish them off but then again so can these two units so it is just going to be a nice little skirmish off and then the lines are going to be reformed I assume and uh, Indigo is going to carry on advancing bit by bit using the added range but uh, Sass is just going to retreat back to the woods which is a clever move when you're being outranged but even when you're in the woods you can still then be outranged again but um, you just take less casualties I guess but that's not a, not a type of move you want to be in and you can see these uh, Yashigari are exhausted. They are fatigued massively. And the Bow Warrior Monks and the Cavalry. And uh, see, uh, Sass has been backed into a. Sorry about that. Um, has been backed into a corner now and needs to get out of it. So we'll go ahead and just triple speed it again whilst we wait for some action to happen. They're just both reshuffling and advancing with missile fire happening. And it does look like this is where Sass is going to make his stand and oh, try and hold off the advancing hordes of Indigo. With this added cavalry. He needs to keep on advancing this cavalry by personally I would just so it does pose a threat and does make sure that um, that indigo does have to keep on checking and maybe it'll miss something but this light cavalry is just going to be used to harass maybe pick out one of the two archers and maybe draw in some cavalry which can then be attacked but uh sass is just going to advance the yashigari maybe this is to um push back the infantry line and make uh make the naganatas maybe come up from uh, indigo and stop this because it is annoying you have to reshuffle and especially whilst you're taking damage from the bow samurai as well now you're getting back shots and um, these Yarashigari it looks like you are going to catch these Naginatas maybe they're not doing anything now but it's a bit of a poor macro because they did now and they are going to run so now they're bugging out of here and it looks like the cavalry is going to come round and maybe hit into these archers and match locks you just need to split these up do one here one here and one here which is being done sort of but you just need to do lots of things with these cavalry because you can't stop every, each and every cavalry if there's so many of them it's too hard to macro and not even some of the best players can do it but you've got a nice little triangle going on here <laughs> protecting from the Yarashigari I guess but now look how messy this is and uh, Indigo's missile advantage isn't really great now I think lost pretty much of a missile advantage so at this point I would seize the initiative and if I was sass just advance now and just start pinning away because the missiles aren't that strong anymore um, so indigo did have a missile advantage but not so much now and uh, sass still does have the cavalry advantage which can be used to their advantage as well as using the missile so I'm just gonna triple speed it again whilst they both reform again and go ahead and just miss off. Matt Yarashigari does take a few more damages, but every time that the Bowery Monks are shooting this, they're wasting ammunition, and so it will make it be hitting this, even though the Warrior Monks obviously do have extra ammunition on, I am assuming, so it's not gonna, they're not going to run out of that much ammo quite quickly. But as long as Sass uses this um, extra cavalry advantage well, um, this bag of this game could be clearly his and he could be going through 2 0 in the thing, but I wouldn't write off Indigo too quickly um, because it has shown in the past that 
Indigo is a very good player and might still come back. So at this point, just gonna take take the advantage and just go ahead and shove all the infantry in, and that is a lot of infantry which um, Indigo is throwing at. And they just have to make sure that the missiles don't do too much damage. They need to get up quickly and stop that. And um, the cavalry is going to play a huge part, but as rightly as Indigo is doing, trying to warm them off so the matchlocks can fire. But obviously he doesn't want to run into these spears and this cavalry can now quickly come and finish it off if they attack from each angle. And the general is being forced to stay a decent amount of way out. But it doesn't seem to be doing that much damage to um, Indigo as this unit has just been allowed to run through and get rid of the matchlocks. I don't know what these two were doing. Maybe Assassin was just focusing on the cavalry component. But it does look like that um, Indigo is winning the melee engagement at the moment stopping the missiles from firing and the, using the war cry which is destroying the melee but uh, yeah Sass has managed to engage these uh, by warrior monks but hasn't managed to maybe take a few seconds and they might just get a volley off it doesn't look like they will but has managed to, which was lucky and is going to get rammed into a side by this cavalry unit and that is going to take a nice little volley by these bow warrior monks. But back to the main infantry fight, it's pretty level at the moment, but um, it might just favour Indigo as they do have the right overlap on these um, archers. I think they're both archers. So whoever wins in the centre can then reinforce the flank. So this is anyone's game at the moment. Indigo, I mean, it does look like Sass has lost most of the. Uh, most of his cavalry advantage which is poor and it does look like Indigo has taken the advantage right now and uh, Sass will have to do something quite spectacular to bring this back but never underestimate people in these type of tournaments because people always do to surprise you but it doesn't look like they can possibly win this now there's too much oh no actually there's not that much but the morale is poor as the general has now been taken down and this will be a last charge of the uh, Avatar Bodyguard. And they won't survive much longer and they will route. So good game to Indio, Indi Indigo. <laughs> Indigo. Um, so now that's 1-1 one, one out of this. And I don't have the next replay so I can't bring you that. But I will try and find it and get it off. Tin Cow. And uh, be sure to subscribe to me for more Test Cup action. And I'll try and get you the next uh, game of this. So thanks for watching.